Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanna show you an easy way to use a single database connection URL in your Django configuration, instead of using the typical configuration as you have to use now. So what I mean by that is if you go to databases here in your settings.py, you see for the default database, we have both the engine and the name by default. So by default, you have the SQLite database. But if you're using something like MySQL or Postgres, you would also have the host, you'd have the username, the password, the name of the database, you'd have the uh, port, and I think that would be it. And you have to change the engine. But there are several values that you have to type in here. And if you wanted to use environment variables, you'd have to have separate environment variables for each one. But with this library that I'm gonna show you, you can have a single environment variable that holds all the connection information because you're using that single connection string. So the name of the library is called DJ Database URL. So you can install that with pip, DJ Database URL. And you're gonna use it inside of your settings.py. So I already have it installed. And I'll just import it here. So uh, DJ Database URL. So just import that. And then instead of having this as your configuration, what DJ Database URL would do, so uh, DJ database URL. Uh, you can call two methods on this or two functions. You can call either parse or config. So we'll start with parse first. And with parse, you just pass in the connection string. So for example, a Postgres connection string will look like this. So Postgres colon slash slash and username, password uh, at you know example.com slash database, right? And if I set the databases dictionary and the default key equal to this, then I'll get the configuration values for the Postgres database. So first let me show you what happens when you run it for the default database. So I'll print the databases dictionary and I'll just start the server. I won't actually look at anything other than here. And we see the dictionary. So default engine and then SQLite 3 is the engine and then the name of the database here. And now if I uncomment uh, the databases here and it's just gonna overwrite what's come before, I can run this again and we can start my server, run this again. And then if I go up to, let's see, it's failing because it's not installed uh, psycho PG2, but that's not really important. What's important is the configuration here. So we see now default, we have name, database, user, username, password, password, host, example.com, and port is empty. And of course I can put the port here as well. I can do like, I think it's 5432 or something like that. So 5432. So now if I do this again and then scroll up to the configuration, we see uh, the port is 5432. So this is exactly what I want. And the advantage of using this is it's just a single value instead of you know, one, two, three, four, five, six different things. It's just a single string. And another way I can use this is I can use an environment variable. So instead of calling parse, I can call config. So databases defaults, and then DJ database URL dot config. And this is going to look for an environment variable called database underscore URL. So let me export that. So export uh, database URL, and I'll set this equal to, let's say a MySQL one. So MySQL slash slash, and then um, user pass at server.com port. I don't know the port for MySQL. I'll just put one, two, three. And then the name of the database will be my database, just like that. So that's my connection string inside of the database URL configuration value. And now I'll start the server. And it fails on loading my SQL again, but that's not the important part. The important part is the configuration that we have. So we see the name is my database, user, user, password, pass, host, server.com. The port is one, two, three, and the engine is my SQL. And you can also supply the connection max age as well. And you can see that in the documentation, but I just wanted to focus on the actual configuration for the database connection string itself. So if you think this is more convenient than listing out the individual values, then I think you'll like this library. And it makes it really easy to have different environments because instead of 
you know, changing your settings to a pi file, you can just use environment variables and you can use a single environment variable to represent your database. So I'll link to this library in the description below so you can see the rest of the documentation, but it's pretty simple. I basically cover the main two uh, use cases for it. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.